Hey guys, this is not my usual video. I'm only making this because Left 4 Dead 2 is currently pretty much unplayable. Yeah, that's right, unplayable. So, you might already know if you actually play Left 4 Dead a lot, but recently, there's been a ton of DDoS attacks on every official Valve server for Left 4 Dead, which means it's unplayable. Yep, unplayable. So, imagine this. You join a server. You're like, oh boy, I can't wait to run some verses. You get in, boom. 500 ping and you're like oh man this is unplayable i guess i'll go play campaign since somebody's ddosing the versus servers well let's do some good old hard rain bam 700 bajillion ping now you're really upset you're really sad you just got cooked out of getting a good left 4 dead 2 session in so now you go to bed crying yourself to sleep so who's actually doing this? Well, many people believe it's caused by a man named Jimmy. I don't believe this. Jimmy is a troll that DDoSes people, yes. But judging by his history, he has only ever gone after streamers for the reaction and attention. Please. Do what I'm about to say! <laughs> Yo! I even asked Jimmy himself via his Discord server and he said, People believe you are behind the DDoSing. Is it true? No way people are blaming me, Alan FAL. I even asked him about the tool he uses, and he said this. The censored system only goes after designated individuals. I really don't think Jimmy is capable of doing this to the servers. He is abusing a tool that he did not make to harass streamers for attention. If he did this, I feel like we would know about it. Jimmy is just an attention-seeking loser. I think the same people behind the TF2 bots in DDoSing is behind this instead. This is not 100% and is really only speculation for me. And Jimmy could very well be lying, but I know he loves attention. If he was behind the DDoSing, that's pretty big. I feel like we, he would be flaunting this like a trophy, but instead he's denying it. But who really knows? It could be Jimmy. I just personally believe it's not. And to clarify, I am not defending Jimmy. That dude is a complete racist loser who deserves to rot. So yeah, I personally believe it's the same people behind TF2's DDoSing and bots, but here's how you can avoid this. You can avoid DDoSing by using a local server, but I would recommend using a VPN while making a local server because I'm sure your IP could get leaked without one. To end this video off, I'll tell you some good VPNs to use while playing Left 4 Dead to stay safe. And I know that many people may not have the money to afford something like a VPN monthly, or just don't see it to be worth just to play Left 4 Dead. So, I'll also include some good free ones that protect you as well. Three paid VPNs I would recommend would be Mulvad for the ultra private folks, NordVPN for the all overall best features, and ExpressVPN for the high speeds and safety. Two free VPNs I would recommend would also be Cloud, Fair, Warp, and Proton. I strongly recommend using Warp, and I'll even be giving away three Warp plus keys in my Discord, link in the description, for people who want to stay safe on Left 4 Dead. To end it off, this is really scary for Left 4 Dead. This could very well kill it off slowly if Valve doesn't do anything. It could be days, weeks, or even months before Valve decides to do something. And this is just the unfortunate truth. Valve isn't the same company it used to be. They don't care about their games anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to correct me in the comments if I was wrong about something. Thanks guys, have a good one.